And a lot of times you get stressed out. Uh, I was stressed in PA school. I'd have like this little like twitch and I still get it right now in my left eye because I'm like, dang, like what's going on? Am I not drinking enough water? Like maybe I need to drink some more water. You and I, when I do it live. What's up you guys, it's Donna, welcome back to my channel. So, um, just go ahead right now, before we even start this video off, subscribe to my channel um, and hit that notification bell. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Uh But this video is going to be about stress and burnout in PA school. And yes, you guys, it is a real thing. It's very stressful in PA school. Um, and there are people who burn out. Um, and so it's important to kind of just understand like that that is a thing how are you going to deal with it and uh just kind of be prepared for it because it, it comes even to the best of us so with respect to pa school uh again you guys always hear me say it's hard and and yes it's tough um there's a lot of material that's coming your way on a daily basis you're just kind of seeing things and you're constantly getting bombarded with new information and your whole thing is like how am i going to keep this all in i remember like first day i think like orientation day they were like yeah pa school is like this and they had the whole drinking out of a fire hydrant um image put up <laughs> because they wanted, they they didn't want to dissuade us per se, but they didn't want to like um, also like mince any words with respect to us understanding that, hey, you guys, this is not an easy path that you have chosen. Um, and there's going to be a lot of information coming your way. So it, it, it was, inf it, it was, pretty interesting to see that um but you don't really get that and you don't really understand that whole concept until you're actually in and you're getting this information coming your way and a lot of times you get stressed out uh i was stressed in pa school i'd have like this little like twitch and i still get it right now in my left eye because i'm like dang like what's going on am i not drinking enough water like maybe i need to drink some more water but that's not it it's just you know my body telling me that i need to kind of relax and take some time for myself so it was important to uh understand those triggers for you for you um when you get into pa school know what your stress triggers are is it you know family life is it school itself is it friends what exactly a makes you kind of get into that kind of stressful burnout mode. And then from understanding those triggers, understanding exactly how to deal with it. Because a lot of where the burnout comes from is not knowing how to properly, I guess you could say, manage your stress. And or uh, sometimes, and, and I think that's the majority of it, but there are times when, you know, there may just, it, it just may not be for you and there may not be um, something for you to help and manage that. So being able to understand that and recognize that is important as well. I know I've said it before, but like a lot of my classmates, they work out, uh, they worked out a lot or, you know, they kind of just hung out together. Uh, for me, it was just a matter of like taking time to myself and my family, knowing that, okay, I've studied for six hours. Like I don't need to be doing any more studying right now. I need to be able to take some time for myself. And you have to understand that great work life, um, you know, just kind of ease balance, I guess you could say, um, understanding that it's not all work, you know, all work and no play makes, put your name in here, a burnt out PA student. And that's not what you want. So understanding that there are going to be times of stress, especially when you have like five tests coming up or your finals coming up and you're like, man, I need to pass these exams because I don't have any more remediations or whatever it is, right? You want to make sure that you are doing everything that you need to do. Um, and, and that may be sleeping. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a very interesting concept in PA school getting sleep, but it's essential. Uh, so make sure, making sure that you're getting enough sleep, enough, um, fluids, enough food, uh, and a lot of people lose weight in PA school, some gain weight because they deal with their stresses differently. Uh, so understanding that you still need to fuel your body and, and being able to do that. And, 
and again, if in the opposite direction, if you are now overeating to deal with your stress, if you're a stress eat, eater, you know, you may need to be a stress exerciser because having a lot of food and, and putting on weight in PA school is going to make you more lethargic. You're not going to be able to study as well and be as effective in those studying um, in those moments where you actually need to get that content down. So um, just knowing how to manage your stress, what your triggers are, how can you now alleviate that stress and the importance of that is essential for you not to have burnout in PA school because there are quite a few people that do burn out. Um, you know, uh, the attrition rate is pretty, it's still pretty high in terms of people matriculating tr through PA school, but like I, I would think on average, maybe at, at minimum, maybe like two or three percent of students kind of fail out of PA school. So it's important for you guys to understand that I need to come in here with a plan. Um, if you already are somebody that is easily stressed, that you know takes medication for your for your for your anxiety and, and whatnot, then go ahead and make sure that you have that like your doctor on speed dial and you can be you have somebody that you can talk to run these things by and say hey you know like i'm feeling really stressed today like well what do you what should i do what do you think or um having that friend that you can be like all right like i just need a break like can we go get some celery no you're not gonna go get some celery you know good and well you're gonna get some rita's some ice cream but whatever the case may be i was trying to be like really like healthy for you guys but no you can go you can go to like a crisp or something like that and get us a, a really really great salad but i know that's not as good as like an ice cream rita's but anyways you can do that have those people in your life that you can actually go and de-stress with so that the burnout is not as real as it has been all right, so that is my little tips for you guys. Um, just talking about dealing with stress in PA school and um, the fact that this is a real thing, it's a serious thing. And there have been people who have committed suicide in PA school um, because of various different reasons uh, and a lot of it kind of surrounds stress. So we don't want that. We want PAs going into the workforce, right? So please, please be aware of your classmates. Be aware of those around you. Um, you know, reach out a hand as a student. Go ahead and be like, hey, is there is, is there anything I can do for you? You know, you're like not looking your normal self today. You're like a little down. And if it's, if you're the person, um, and you know, I, I don't know if that was me, I would love for somebody to reach out to me because although you may not necessarily always want to hear somebody talking to you or you may not always want to tell people what's going on in your life it is a beautiful thing to know that people care you guys so um i guess that could be our message today stress burnout and care make sure that when you are feeling stressed or you see somebody else feeling stressed that you show them that you care all right thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and follow me on instagram and hit that subscribe and like button right now and like this video for me all right thank you guys i will talk to you guys next time bye